Hi, I'm Michael Sutton, owner and founder at Kind Home Solutions. We're on site at one of our first interiors of 2021. And today we want to walk you through the interior painting process start to finish. Let's take a look at where the guys are now. All right, so it's four o'clock on day one of this project. We got started this morning around 930. So far, we've gotten all the floors protected. We've gotten the windows masked, the fireplace and the kitchens all masked, and we're getting ready to get onto the ceilings. We've also been able to take down all the cabinet doors. We got those sanded, cleaned, and primed, and they're hung to dry, ready for their top coat to go on tomorrow morning. As we all know, prep is the most important part when it comes to interior painting. On every project, we're gonna cover the interior floors every inch. We'll cover all your carpet, we'll cover the windows and make sure everything's protected. Your baseboards, your windows, will all get caulked in. Now on this particular project, they are replacing the carpet. So we went ahead and helped them get some of the old carpet removed and we cut back next to the wall so that we can paint all the way down to the trim. We'll remove all of the light plates as we go, and when we finish, we'll reinstall all of the light plates for you. All of your can lighting and your fans will all get masked every time. We wanna make sure that we only get paint where it belongs. What we do typically ask our clients to do, help move any of the breakables to the middle of the room, and then we'll cover those in plastic, just like we did with the refrigerator here. We wanna cover all of your items in plastic and make sure that they're safe and protected, and we'll seal it down to the ground so no dust can get on any of your furniture. So when it comes to items like these screws that want to be left, we ask for a client to let us know any nails or screws that you do want to keep. Nicks like this in the drywall will always be addressed by our team. We'll use some mud and some drywall compound to rebuild that up and then retexture it to blend it in with the pre-existing texture. When you spray, we typically start with ceilings first. So tomorrow morning, the first thing we're gonna take care of is getting the ceilings painted. Then we'll move on to the trim. Once the trim and the ceilings have both been painted and they've dried, we'll get them all masked and we'll get prepared to paint the walls last.